Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. I'm going to take a second stab at robotic process automation in ServiceNow. The last time I tried attempting this was in San Diego. I am now in my PDI. I'm in Utah. And fortunately, I had figured out how to get RPA installed before it was available in Utah. So all I did before hitting the record button for this uh, episode or for this video is I went in and updated the RPA Hub app. Um, the RPA plugin bundle app, and I installed the RPA sample template, which was not installed in my PDI. So these are the three things I did before recording the video. The other thing I did before recording was I uninstalled RPA Design Studio and uh, the related applications. There's like a login attendant, um, unattended or attended robot or something like that. There's three things I uninstalled from my Windows machine, and that's what I'm remote desktop into now uh, from my Mac. I'm in my Windows box. So we're just gonna do, I wanna get the engine back installed. Um, and I just click something to do a dashboard. Okay, so we'll go to our all menu and I wanna get the, the studio back installed. I don't know why my all menu is not working. Come on, something's funky with uh, the menu in there. Let's try clicking over here. Let's try clicking over there. There we go, that's got the, so if I click on favorites, <laughs> Um, okay, I don't know if this is a feature or a bug, but I'm in our remote desktop from my Mac to my Windows PC, and I have to click all the way here in my favorites to get into the filter box there for the all menu. Okay, so let's do RPA, and I want to do, uh, let's do our robotic process automation. I haven't practiced this, if you can't tell. And I need to do the downloads, because the down well, if I click over here, let's see, there we go. Wow. I'm glad I'm recording this so you guys can see it, of uh, what I'm having to do, of where I'm having to put my mouse to click on that. Okay, so I've got Design Desktop Studio 64-bit, Unattended Robot, Login Agent, and Attended Robot. I'm just going to do the Studio, so let's hit the, uh, let's find the download button on that one. Uh, what in the world? I don't understand what is doing this. Let's see if I can... Tab, there, there we go. Tab is my friend. And there it's downloading. It's done. So let's go to. Man. Even my. It must be the whole session. Let's just. Uh, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Oh, full screen will work. They'll let me do stuff. Okay, I'm full screen. That works better. Alright, actually, it looks better in the video too. Uh, let's go to downloads. And there's my RPA desktop studio. Let's click the install button, and we'll minimize that guy now. Let's see, the installer will guide you through the setup steps. Great. This is going to be for everyone that uses this computer. Next. And yes, I'll allow it to make changes. Cool. That was really fast. Really, really fast, everybody. It's going to be a short video. <laughs> um, what was that called? RPA Desktop Design Studio. So I'm going to search. There it is. RPA Desktop Design Studio. Let's pull it up, see what it looks like. Got my helpful little robot there. And it's it's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. I have no idea. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's still thinking. It's loading components. All right, so we're not in trouble. Oh, that's interesting. And now bot, uh, when I hovered over that, it's called now bot. Okay, so there's my RPA desktop design studio. This actually looks really, really familiar compared to the last time. So I've got home, I've got new automation project, I've got open and a local project, open a remote project. It actually still has my old stuff. Okay, so that stuff must still be in my user directory. And so they're seeing that. Look, I did that in April and March and May of 2022. Um, so almost exactly a year ago, March 26th. Um, today it's, I'm recording this on March 20th of 2023. There's the settings and back to my home page. So, um, that was what I wanted. I'm just going to click on one of these and actually let's go, let's go, yeah, let's do an unattended automation and we'll go test, um, demo for the YouTube and click OK and see if this all looks the same as my last time I did this. It's looking pretty similar. I did see in the release notes for Utah, there was supposed to be like a change in the flash screen or splash screen. So I don't think it's called a flash screen. It's a good splash screen. And uh, I'm actually not seeing much that looks too much different. So 
Um, what you can expect is I'm going to keep going down this road. Now I've got everything installed and um, I'd like to start playing around. And I think I've mentioned in another video. I'd love for it to help me out on my release note stuff and like that. But now I've got RPA Desktop Design Studio on my Windows machine connected to my Utah ServiceNow instance. Let's just check that connection there. Oh no, I don't. I don't. I was about to end the video. Um, so let's get rid of that. I'm going to have to blur out because that's my work stuff. So let's kill that one. This is actually my PDI. So we'll call this Justin's Utah PDI. And what's my, I don't know if that's still on the clipboard, but I can see it over there. All right, so HTTPS colon slash slash, and I'm going to not read this out loud, and I'm going to blur it on the screen. Um, Service-now.com. And we'll make that as our default. And uh, the default launch browser is okay because it should be Chrome, which is fine with me. I'll hit save and let's try connecting to it. Uh, I'm already logged in, so that makes sense. Uh, we will allow it and then open the RPA host. It's flashing down here. And it looks like I might be connected. I am connected. My status is connected. All right, so I did extra steps. I didn't realize I was going to do, but I've now connected to my Utah PDI. I've got RPA Design Studio, so check back here for another video. But mission accomplished for this one. I hope you found this video helpful or at least a little fun. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in robotic process automation in ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.